Hi, what's happening? Um, start of a new week again. Um, overhead press for today. Um, strict press on the log. Um, 75k uh, for three reps, five sets. Um, then I'm going to go up to the gym and do bench press and chest and triceps. Uh, probably do cardio as well tonight now. <clears throat> I'm still debating what to do about which comp to do or whether to do both of them. Um, obviously they're both one week apart and i got so many events to train for in them uh, that I'm struggling at the moment to fit all the training in like so I'm really tempted to not do one of them if I do uh, pull out the one comp it'll probably be the British as much as I don't want to but uh, I just haven't had enough time to prep for the event and it is um, quite a far drive as well it's up in York which for me is about four and a half nearly five hours um and obviously i'm gonna have to walk the cut as well to make weight so that'd mean i'd be driving up there dehydrated as hell so i'm really not sure what to do i'm probably gonna still try and train the events as best i can because if i do decide to do it obviously i'll be prepped for it but i'm still unsure at the moment so just see how it goes yeah so just checking the dates now for the comps um if I was to do the Brits, that means I got three weeks of training, then basically like a rest week, which will be the week of the comp. Um, then the week after will be the week of the Welsh. So really that like takes two weeks away from me that I can train. So basically I've got two comps to train for in three weeks and I can't really train hard between them because it's just obviously the week of the comp, there's more to lose than there's to gain by training anyway. So if I was going to train it would be light and just speed work and mobility stuff and stretching and stuff like that like um, so I really ain't sure what to do yet to be honest I haven't peaked up perfectly for the Brits yet either because I was so late finding out that I qualified for it um, it's things like the York I haven't peaked the York up yet to I think comp weight is 270 which I probably could do but I couldn't do it comfortably um, without peeking up properly so still not sure what to do like but anyway I'm going to crack on with the log for today because that's going to help both comps anyway so let's get it done Living life every day Let it die Not okay All I want and I pray All I need are some better days Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror So foggy, but I've never seen clearer I don't really think anyone can save me And honestly, I'm not really sure I want saving I like to be my own worst enemy There's no risk if you don't try at anything So I'ma just get by in everything See you in the next life, hope to be a better me I don't think that my head's on straight Gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x-ray What's wrong with me? I just feel way Pushing on my chest and it squeeze till I suffocate Better change my mindset, meditate It's pretty cool that I'm alive and have better days I could walk, see, here, I should celebrate Think I could change my mind, maybe elevate Living life, every day, late at night Not okay, all I want And I pray, all I need Are some better days Yeah, all I need Are some better days, cause all I want Stuck between a rock and a hard place Do I work hard or live at my pace? You're only young once, yeah that's all great But I also want a future where I'm okay Living life is doing lots of cocaine Wait no, it's living with no shame Wait no, it's sleeping in on Sundays I guess it's different for each of us and that's okay Well I just wanna be happy How to get there, hmm, glad that you asked me I think it's different for everyone Some of us need work, others need fun Some of us need purpose to overcome But try to do what you love when it's said and done Cause there's so many differences in each of us Trust your gut, it can show you what you want Living life, every day, late at night Not okay, all I want And I pray, all I need are some better days Yeah, all I need are some better days Cause all I want, and I pray I believe in the better days Living life, every day not okay, all I want, and I pray, all I need are some better days, yeah, all I need are some better days, cause all I want, and I pray, I believe in the better days. That is your chance to be rude. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head, they'll tell you what to do in life instead. 
have everything you know that you could get Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test If only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with intent can help you feel alive Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time Just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life They'll try to kick you while you're down they wanna rise up while you drown They wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless I can see that they compare I think everyone's against me Maybe something in the air Am I paranoid? I swear a void is forming And they're scared I walk a straight path Not many can say that I like to play fast Cross me and there's payback You better pray that I don't see your face at Any place that I go I know you hate that I've been doing fine I'm not wasting any more time I live for the fight and the climb and I think that the pain that's deep inside Is what defines So I won't give up, I'm gonna make it to the top I don't care what's in my way, I swear I'm never gonna stop I could fall flat on my face and I swear I will get back up Cause I don't deserve a thing and the road ahead is tough They'll try to kick you while you're down They wanna rise up while you drown they wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless Them deadlifts today felt horrendous, gotta be honest. Uh, I expected it to be a fairly easy session because um, I pulled 260 recently. I thought 220 would have been too bad. Like, I obviously was doing it for five reps, but absolutely, even one rep felt odd. Uh, my blood pressure just felt like it was through the roof. Um, uh, just a nightmare, really. Uh, I'm glad I got them all. Obviously, I'd done three sets of five. So I'm, I'm happy I finished all the sets, but it really felt tough. Uh, it's probably te showing me that my body just needs a rest now. So next week, definitely going to be light. Uh, I'll wear the suit again, and I'll, it'll be for a weight that I don't actually even need the suit on for. So possibly like 170, 180, because I do want to get used again in this position. The suit needs to be that I need to be in to pull with the suit because. Um, my natural position is not the same as what the suit wants me to go into so it'd be pointless now trying to pull uh, just without the suit because obviously in the comp I'm going to be using a suit so I'll do a lightish a lightish weight for low reps and just probably a lot of sets just to get used to uh, getting down into the position and pulling from that position but yeah my central nervous system just feels fried like so definitely need a deload just got to the gym now I am going to work today so um quite an early session today um shoulders and triceps after training i'll probably take kit car out for a run i think because uh the weather's really nice today
just got back now from training. Um, I tried one of the events that's coming up in the Brits, uh, which is 90 kilos from the floor for three reps. Uh, it felt really hard, i got to be honest. Um, it's made me think now that I ain't going to be ready in time to do the Brits. So I think that I'm just going to knock a Brits on the head and just put all my efforts into training for the Welsh because I just can't prep for two at the same time, not one week apart. Like, and I just don't think it. Um, I don't think I've given myself enough time uh, to be as strong as I want to be for the Brits. So rather than going to the Brits half assed and just not prepped enough, I'd rather just not bother at all and maybe either do it next year or whatever. But um, <clears throat> at least then I can just hit that. I can hit the Welsh comp with 100% effort and 100% prep like so I think that's a plan now um, I like I obviously I managed to do 100k overhead press but still not good enough really for what I need to be doing in the Brits because uh, the last thing I need to be doing is 110 kilo axle overhead press and the way I'm lifting at the moment I generally don't even think I'd be able to do that so I just rather not bother with the Brits if um, I'm just going to be going in to make up numbers like so uh, <clears throat> gives me time now to just put 100% into the Welsh like I said and hopefully come away with minimum of podium or first if I'd have to be on real good form to get first I gotta be honest because some of the boys I'm against are really good um, and obviously it's a non-tested comp as well and I'll be doing it drug free so I'm already at a disadvantage but I, already, I know that I like but so I'm not gonna make excuses about it but um I would like to place podium minimum like and uh, I'd be quite happy with that obviously. So a bit of change of plan today for um, Strongman Events Day. Uh, because of the bank holiday weekend, and I'm going to a concert tomorrow, um, I'm not going to be able to make it down to Swansea to do my Strongman stuff. So my plan is to go up a garage, do some of the stuff in the garage, uh, do the sandbag throws uh, outside the garage, and try and do some of the moving events across the road from my mother's house. So it'll be a bit different. Um, you know, different scenery and it'd be different atlas stones as well if I get them out because I got my own atlas stones so should be a bit of a challenge to do them like
I wanna be the best in the game Invest in my name Check no restraints I'm obsessed with the pain I ingest, I retain Assess and I change Possessed by the thought I'll be free one day From society's restraints Money, clout and fame Mud disease, a plague We all love to hate Have to play the game Have to make a name All our insecurities are on This display. is war with the enemy Think that it was meant to be Living in a time Where disease is on every screen I won't let them fester me I know most are festering Negativity is a plague For the mentally weak No mercy all I got is working Never stop searching Never quench the thirsty I'm toxic and psychotic With this logic you can't stop it It's been chronic since I was a boy So neurotic and chaotic I'm still to last with the webs I'm weaving I can change the past With all I'm achieving Got my foot on gas Never stop competing If you break like glass Then this life's gonna eat them Make mistakes real fast Then you learn how to beat them If you off the cast, you can see all the healing If the pain's in the past, move on from the grave And put your foot on the gas, no, never stop competing, yeah I've been doing this, I'm on it I just wanna be iconic Sipping on a gin and tonic Got me going off when I'm on this topic, yeah If I ever play, I want it You know that I'm always honest Stay away from those who are toxic Keep by your face, no way you don't want it, yeah Don't try to drain my energy The enemy is everything It's mentally unhealthily Spreading like a rare Right, so a bit of summary of um, yesterday's training session. Um, I was too pissed off to even record this yesterday, to be honest, because it went so badly. Um, just everything just went to shit. Like uh, the overhead press was hard. Farmers walk, I couldn't even get up to the weight I wanted to, so I ended up only doing like 90k each hand. My grip just wouldn't hold. Couldn't move fast with them. Uh, so pissed off in the end. I didn't even bother doing atlas stones. Uh, it was easier just to knock it on the head because I knew that the Atlas stones would have gone shit as well and it would just frustrate me even more. So just called it a day on him to be honest. Anybody who's ever prepped for a strongman comp or any comp really will obviously know that your prep never always goes 100% to plan but sometimes it just gets you down like when you try everything you can and try training as hard as you can like and the session and the strength and whatever is just not there so yesterday yeah just had a tit full really so i ended up just chucking everything away uh went to have some food and i and just had the early night like i just couldn't be arsed yesterday and but like i said on one of my older videos um i want my youtube channel and all the videos to be as transparent as possible like um, I don't want to be painting a picture of like perfect sessions and everything going to plan in prep and whatever because obviously it doesn't like um, and I think the more genuine I can make it the more entertaining and the more realistic my videos should come across like 
So yeah, I'm not gonna pretend I'm not fucked off about yesterday because I really am like I was just tamping, I just fucking couldn't be asked to put stuff back in my garage, I was so pissed off with it. So plan going forward, try my best not to let like, it get me down and be depressed about it like because uh, I've only got like a month now uh, training left. I'm definitely not doing the Brits now, 100%. Like it's just it's hard enough to seem prep for one comp, so 100% not doing the Brits. Um, I'd rather do one comp well than two comps very average, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to do the Welsh now. Um, yeah, plan going forward. Literally now, make eating more priority because. I'm fucking drilling my training sessions and I'm being very mediocre about my eating like because because I'm so busy with trip with work and I, some days I'll just go like hours without eating I just need to wise up and just sort it out because obviously the eating I'm not stupid like the eating is just as important as the training but I tend to neglect it just thinking you know just get the training done get the training done and obviously it's just not working that way so going forward and start prepping my meals properly, eating enough in the day, and hopefully the sessions will just reflect that. So, sorry to end the video on a bit of a low, but um, I'm not going to pretend that everything's going perfect for training because it's not. So, that's the end of this week's video, and hopefully, next week now should be a lot better. Uh, I'm going to take a little bit of a deload now next week, so the session should all be a little bit lighter Give my body a chance to recover a little bit, my central nervous system will recover a little bit And then the week after is when I start tapering it up properly and for comp And can't afford to have any shit, shit sessions then really because We'll be getting very close to comp and the weight is going to have to start tapering up So thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the next video